Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're talking about medical preps and uh, something that I just added to my medical preps for the vehicle and that is Narcan, all right? So a lot of people know what Narcan is, um, but if you don't, it is uh, naloxone, I believe is how it's pronounced. This is a way to reverse an opioid overdose. So if someone is overdosing on some kind of opioid, which would be heroin, um, you know, fentanyl obviously is the, the biggest uh, thing in the last few years, right? Fentanyl overdoses, it is extremely, extremely strong. It's, I don't know, something like 60 times the, as powerful as heroin or something like that. Um, also a ton of prescription drugs, uh, Vicodin, Oxy, uh, Codeine, what else? There's a few others that I'm not thinking of right now, but there's all these different ways that you can overdose and die. And unfortunately, I had a personal experience with that with my cousin. My cousin uh, had overdosed on fentanyl, not directly. It was through the use of cocaine. And he didn't know there was fentanyl in there, and he died from it. And it's extremely sad. And um, ever since that happened, and I've had other people who I know who've had drug overdoses, um, it's always kind of been in the back of my mind. I never really pursued it, but I always thought, like, hey, you know, it might be nice if I have some Narcan, uh, on my person. So if I ever witness something like this, perhaps I could save a life. Perhaps I can help someone else. You know, why not? And so recently it was really kind of stuck in my head and I don't have any kind of health care coverage. A lot of times when you have health care, there's different ways you can go to your, you know, doctor, you know, get a prescription for this so that you have it. Now, I don't have drugs in my life. I don't do hard drugs. No one around me immediately does any kind of hard drugs at all. So it's not really for me or for my family uh, as much as it is perhaps for a stranger. But the idea was kind of stuck in my head that, you know what, what if one day I just run across some scenario, if I'm in public or maybe I'm at a party, that, that's very possible. Maybe I'm at a, you know, some kind of party or something and someone's overdosing and uh, no one knows what to do. It would be great to have that option to run to my vehicle and grab Narcan. So... You can uh, inject Narcan um, intravenously, which I think is a lot more of a pain in the butt. This is the most common where this goes through your nasal uh, passage. So you literally take this out, you put this nozzle in someone's nostril who is presumably overdosing from an op opioid, um, and you push the red plunger all the way down, and that is it. It could not be easier. Um, and the average dose is four milligrams here, um, but I got four of them you could do multiple um you know insertions i guess i don't know to say uh i'm gonna loss for <laughs> the terminology here um doses that's that's the word i'm looking for you could do multiple doses if you do one and nothing happens after a few minutes you can you know administer another one so having multiples is a good thing so the first big question is where do you get this well like i said if you have some kind of uh health coverage health plan uh you can talk to them about where to get it it will probably be free um, in some cases you do have to buy it. A four milligram unit like this uh, could cost like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. Um, however, there are organizations that do give it out for free. I had contacted an organization that does just that in Pennsylvania. I did my research on it and they said, yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll send you some out. I said, all right, cool. So they sent these out and they also sent some other stuff, which was kind of random, but I guess they assume that, hey, if you're looking for Narcan, maybe you have some other concerns too. So they sent me these fentanyl test strips. These are really fascinating. So these essentially, you would take whatever narcotic that you have. Let's say you're doing, you know, heroin. Let's say you're doing coke. And you put a little bit of that in a container, mix it with some water, use a test strip, and it'll let you know if there's fentanyl in there or not. So let's say you do want to do some heroin or you do want to do some, some coke and you don't want to do fentanyl. You want to make sure your drugs are clean. These test strips could maybe save your life. Um, those will hang on to, I don't, you know, like I said, I'm not around hard drugs like that to be testing them, but you never know. Who knows? Maybe I'm with someone, maybe they're going to do something they shouldn't do. And maybe I just throw them a test strip so they can, uh, they can check out and make sure their drugs are what they, they think they are. Um, but anyway, and then also, uh, because <laughs> there's Narcan and fentanyl strips, they decided to send a bunch of condoms. Uh, I guess they assume that anyone who's around lots of drugs, you might be having unprotected sex. So they sent those too. Um, so yeah. So you can reach out and again, find these organizations, these nonprofits and stuff that will supply you with these. If it's something that you want to put into your preps, 
it's just another layer. You know what I mean? Like I obviously you get a little cut, I'll hook you up. I got band-aids, neosporin, you name it. I, you got a bigger cut, I got gauze, you got, you know, a, a gunshot wound, I have, you know, quick clot. I'm trying to have levels of being prepared to save my own life and maybe other people's lives. And this is just one of those things that's it's just always been in the back of my mind. I thought, why not? Why not just reach out somewhere, get some of this stuff, because you just never know. It might literally save someone's life one day. Um, something else to note, too, is that if someone's overdosing on something that's not an opioid, right, and let's say, let's say like alcohol, if you have alcohol poisoning and you have a similar effect where someone's laying there, they're unconscious, they're not breathing, if you administer Narcan to those people, it's pretty harmless. That is one of the reasons, it's, it's a big reason when researching this stuff that I decided to actually carry this because, you know, originally I thought, well, what if, what if it's not the right scenario and you give this to someone, can it hurt them, can it kill them? And no, it can't. It can cause a headache, it can cause some irritability, some other problems and stuff, but very short term, nothing long lasting and nothing serious at all. So if you, like if I just shot this up my nose right now, I might get a headache or something, uh, but it's not going to permanently damage anything at all. It is uh, actually extremely safe to administer and use. Um, it, it is just, the only thing it's doing is blocking the effects of uh, opioids on the brain, as well as restore breathing, okay? But if you have some other problem, it's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna help it either, you know what I mean? But it's one of those things where I feel like if I'm in that scenario, someone's overdosing, more than likely, if, if there's a family member with them or something, I would literally give this, like, hey, someone's unconscious, I'm at a party, their brother's there, their sister, their mother, daughter, whatever. I'm like, hey, listen here, I Narcan, use this. The instructions are there, I'll tell them what to do, whatever. But I would not actually administer it unless I absolutely had to, and that's because of our ridiculous legal system. You know, you can try to save someone's life with this, and then who knows, maybe the family sues you because you didn't do it right or something. It's crazy we have to think about stuff like that. Like if I roll up on an accident, a car accident, and you know, I, I, my initial instinct is to help people. Like Jesus, you know, if someone got to an accident, I want to help them. You know, who knows what's going on? I'd want to be helped, right? But there, there's those weird specific details where like, I think there was a story years ago where someone was in a car accident and then some bystander came up and helped them. They pulled them out of the vehicle, but because they did that, they ended up having severe problems with their neck or something. So the person who was in the accident actually sued the person who tried to help them. Can you believe that? And there's stuff like that all the time. So like I said, if I can avoid, I wouldn't even, you know, administer, administer this myself, but I would certainly supply it. Hey, I'm at the party or I'm in public. I'm at, let's say I go to Walmart or Target or something and someone's passed out, everyone's freaking out. I could run in my car, at least have a possible chance of saying, here, here's Narcan, use it, you know, but it, it, in, in, the, in the moment, if there's no one around, it's just me and this person, then yeah, I'll take the chance, I'll roll the dice on a lawsuit to maybe save a life. Now, something they always talk about too is if you have like a hardcore drug addict and stuff, they may become extremely violent because when you administer this, they lose their high, you know, that's why they, they're doing it in the first place. And they might get extremely violent with you and upset. Like, what'd you do? Now I'm not high anymore. You've wasted my high. So there's a possibility you can get attacked if you're, you know, helping some random drug addict or something. So be prepared for that as well. But anyway, I just thought this was a, a fascinating uh, addition to my medical bag, essentially. And I want to make a video talking about it a little bit. If you guys have experience with this, please tell your stories. Comment down below. Have you, you know, do you carry Narcan? Do you... Um, have you seen someone use it before? You know, what, what happens? It's just, you know, it'd be interesting to have that discussion with people, especially personal experiences with it. But like I said, if it, if it could save a life, it's worth having around. It's just another layer of, you know, medical preparedness. So, um, like I said, it wasn't all that hard to obtain this. Like I reached out, answered some questions. I took a little like, um, you know, watched a video and learned on how to use this and stuff so they could see that you're somewhat competent, you know? And then they, they went ahead and sent to me, you know, free of charge. It, like I said, it's a nonprofit organization that, that reaches out. Uh, I believe they're located in Philadelphia. Um, I'm not naming the exact place because I don't want them to get inundated. It's specific to Pennsylvania. But obviously, wherever you are watching this, you can find the stuff. You know, whether you're paying a, a minimal fee of 60 or 70 bucks for a dose, or most times this could be completely free to you. you. If you're interested, you could reach out and have this stuff on you so that, God forbid, you know, anything happens at least you're a little bit prepared. And like I said, it might, might save a life. Who knows? So anyway, that is all. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to the comments to hear again if anyone had any experience with this. Um, 
you know, if you have someone in your household, if you have a family member or a close friend, a neighbor, who knows, and you know that they're, you know, using different types of drugs and stuff, it might just be something you, you have. You know, you just, you never know. But anyway, that's all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.